Hello everyone, today we are going to make some shrimp chowder in the slow cooker. Uh, okay, so let's go over the ingredients. Uh, we have two pounds of cooked, uh, peeled, and deveined uh, shrimp. You want to get kind of small shrimp. I got this one. It's a little bit bigger than the popcorn style, but it's not like a jumbo. It does have the tails on them, so I'm going to have to thaw those out and take the tails off all those. But we're going to be putting in those at the end, so um, it's okay for now. We, we can uh, do that while the rest of the uh, recipe is cooking. So we have two cans of cream of potato soup. We have two cans of cream of chicken soup. We have two cans, 12 ounces each, of evaporated milk. And we have two 11 ounce cans of white corn. Um, also we have a one white onion that we are going to chop. And we got one russet potato that I'm going to add in with the shrimp. Just to give it a little bit more of a filling potato um, in the uh, chowder. There's not a lot of potatoes in this cream of potato soup. so. I just want a little more potato in there, so I'm going to add that towards the end. I'm going to just boil it on the stove top till it's about 90% done and throw it in for the last 40 minutes along with the shrimp. Okay, for our seasoning, we have uh, a little bit of fresh ground uh, dried thyme. We're going to have one teaspoon of... Um, I mean a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Creole seasoning. Any Creole season will do, but make sure it's not too hot for your liking. So definitely taste it first. I tried another one. It was just way too spicy, way too salty. So uh, one, one teaspoon of something that's not too salty, not too spicy is what I was looking for. But it's up to you on that. I'm going to do about a half teaspoon of dried cumin and a uh, half teaspoon of ground white pepper. Um, incidentally the thyme is probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm also going to fry that onion in one tablespoon of bacon grease, one tablespoon of butter, and on top to garnish I'm going to chop up some crispy, crispy bacon um, as a garnish and this is optional if you didn't have that this is really just left over from breakfast and I just made a little extra knowing that I was going to be making this recipe this is all going to go into most of it's going to go into the uh, five quart so, slow cooker and it's go, going to go on there for about three hours uh, the last 30 minutes or so uh, like I said we're going to oh and the cream cheese so we're going to dice up the cream cheese and uh, thaw out the shrimp and we're going to put all and this is already cooked so it just has to warm up and we're going to add that in at the end with the uh, the extra potato the last 30 to 40 minutes of cooking so let me get the uh, onions ready to go and we'll start loading everything into the slow cooker okay so I'm just gonna get a tablespoon of bacon grease just to give that little extra flavor in the uh, chowder and a tablespoon of butter and our chopped white onion just gonna put that in there and uh, what we're gonna do is cook this down just till they're soft. Um, I've got this on medium heat. I do not want this to brown. I don't want any color on them at all. Um, so really probably about six or seven minutes at the most. I'll bring them off when they're done. Okay so that's pretty much all um, you want cooked down to translucent very little to no color at all and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that right into the slow cooker Let me turn this heat off here so 
So in go the onions. And then we're going to go in with our canned, um, our canned items, evaporated milk, one, two cans, uh, the canned corn, I uh, drained it really good, cream of potato, Two of those cans. And two cream of uh, chicken. Alright, so there's that now let's go ahead in with the seasoning we need a uh, half teaspoon of garlic powder we need one teaspoon of Creole seasoning about one quarter to one half of uh, ground cumin about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper And that quarter teaspoon of ground thyme. All right, I'm just going to give this a good mix. I'm going to put it on low for about three hours, then come back and add the uh, rest of the ingredients. So we'll be back then. All right, so we've been going about two and a half hours. Um, and here's what it looks like so far. I only gave it. About an hour ago, I gave it about a, a quick stir. So, and here's those extra potatoes. Let me go ahead and show you the consistency as it is. So that's what it looks like as it is. Extra potatoes. Drained them very good. I cooked them most of the way, um, sort of forgot them, I would have left them a little bit firmer than they are now, but sort of forgot about them, so, and um, here's the shrimp, I'm not going to pour these in, they've been, uh, they've been sort of draining, I do not want all that extra uh, liquid on the bottom, I want just the shrimp, so I'm not going to pour those in. And as you can see, there's a good bit of water um, left at the bottom. So you would not want to add that to, uh, to the dish. And the recipe calls for four uh, ounces of uh, cream cheese. That was an eight ounce brick that I showed you in the beginning. So um, I just cut it in half and used half of that. And all I did was dice it up. 
best I could. And I'm going to get a wooden spoon here to uh, mix this thoroughly. This is smelling really, really good. Um, it looks good too. I like the uh, consistency, the nice, smooth, creamy texture was exactly what um, I was going for. All right, so I'm gonna go let that go for about 20 minutes. Give it another stir and let it go for another 20 minutes. Um, and should be good to go. All right, so it's been going about 40 minutes. And I just went in there and gave it a couple stirs every once in a while. Make sure that uh, cream cheese is fully melted and uh, evenly distributed. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and plate up a bowl. This turned out just perfect. The shrimp are cooked just to perfection. It's nice and smooth and creamy. just the right consistency oh and uh, I did uh, put that bacon on the in a pan and just crisped it up a little bit crunched up a little bit and uh, chopped it up on the cutting board and there you go all right shrimp chowder I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and like the video. And once again, thanks for watching.